when you look at the injuries the Yankees have had over the last couple of seasons, they have had a plethora and it seems as though they continue to pile on. The things you just mentioned, did you see any progress at all last year that things were starting to move in a different direction and a right direction? And if so, what told you that? I think we absolutely did. Um, you know, it may not necessarily be reflected. Um, you know, there was obviously improvement in terms of where we ranked relative to other teams, but I think for, for lack of a better term, 2020 was a little bit of a dumpster fire in terms of major league baseball injuries. Um, I actually spoke with a, a good friend in another organization who told me that he had more injuries in a 60 game season than they'd had in any of their previous five 162 game seasons. So there was a lot of challenges there. I think the thing that, that definitely was, was a struggle for us is we had some really good momentum you know, we obviously walked in with, you know, with Savvy and um, with Paxton's injuries and, you know, some of the stuff that was going on on the front end and um, really had a good handle on stuff. And then the world came crashing down and you lose a lot of that momentum when guys go home for three and a half months and, you know, nobody's really sure whether they have access to, you know, strength addition coaches, physical therapists, massage therapists, or even gyms. Um, you know, we had people who are, you know, working out with a 25 pound dumbbell in the, in the middle of nowhere, nowhere near a gym. So I think those things were really, really challenging. And, and what baseball really learned last year, I think above all else is you can't do spring training in three weeks. Um, there's a, there's a very skill specific aspect of preparation that, that takes time for that adaptation to kick in. Um, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm very confident that baseball understands that now. And regardless of what happens with spring training, that, you know, everything will at least have a little bit more of a gradual on-ramp. But um, I think with the injury, you know, kind of prevention discussion, there's, there's a big discussion, right? There's how do you prevent injuries? How do you, how do you diagnose injuries? Um, you know, how do you acutely manage them from a rehabilitation standpoint, standpoint and a timeline standpoint? Um, you know, and also, you know, how do you, as an organization, approach injuries? And I think what maybe a lot of folks don't understand about the Yankees is we have very, very good depth you know, and in other organizations, a player might be a little bit banged up where he, he needs three days off and they might just give him those three days. In our organization, we have to make calls and say, hey, do we have someone who, who can deliver a lot of value for us out of our bullpen or in AAA where it's, it's a better move for us to, you know, do a disabled list and, and, and really make that decision? So I think you, to some degree, you manage not just to the players and the injuries, but you also manage to the circumstances that your, your organization has. And um, our front office does a really, really good job with that, even if, you know, <laughs> the, the folks on Twitter might not always see it. They don't always love it. Uh, two guys that are absolutely crucial yeah. to yeah. the Yankees' success, John Carlos Stanton and Aaron Judge, two yeah. very big man, men, you know, different builds as far as baseball is concerned. How differently do you treat them and do you approach them to try to make sure they don't suffer from some of those strains and pulls that they've had over the past couple of years? Yeah, no doubt about it. Those, those are guys that, you know, I, I think the world of, and they're, they're amazing workers. And I think, you know, anytime, the, the first thing you have to say is anytime you see an athlete like that who does have some chronic stuff, you know, there is a perception that they're they're not working hard or anything like that. And I couldn't be further from the truth. Those guys are they're rock stars, you know, in every aspect of their preparation, from how they come into the training room to the work they put in the weight room, throwing med balls, taking BP, running the bases, whatever you ask of them, um, they've been really good to do. And um, I'll, I'll say this, both of those guys took a dramatically different approach this offseason um, from what they'd previously done. I'd, I'd say in both cases, they, they lifted less than they have in the past. Um, you know, Aaron in particular has really taken a heavy interest in, in a lot of yoga. Um, we've had, you know, a great instructor in Dana Santos, who's come in and helped out at our, our spring training complex during this off season period with, with, you know, not just Aaron, but, you know, Luke and Mike Ford and Tyro and Nick Nelson, a lot of those guys who are down there. So um, that's something that I think is really important. But I think, you know, also we have to be mindful of um, the stresses on guys who are, you know, six foot seven, six foot eight, you know, big dudes standing around for long periods of time in cleats. Um, you know, those are, those are things that normal people don't encounter. So I think um, we've understood that their preparation has to be markedly different in terms of, you know, not just building them up as athletes, but building them up as baseball players where, you know, there is a gradual on-ramping of those specific stressors, running the bases, changing directions, swinging. So um, both of those guys are, are in a good place. And I, I think, you know, particularly with Stanton, we saw really, really good glimpses of what G is, is when he's, he's going good. And, you know, I, I, you know, joked with, with Booney about this and I think he actually mentioned it on a, on a previous chat here is there was actually a period in left field um, prior to game five um, in the, the last series against the Rays when he was out, you know, doing some sprint work and it was, it was as athletic as I had ever seen him. Like I was, I was confident that he could have gone out and played the outfield for us that night. And it was, it was super encouraging. It was really a testament to how open-minded he had been to, you know, attacking things a little bit different. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm really excited to, you know, to obviously get some more time with those guys in person.